want to demonstrate how to place the activity harness on in a standing position. The activity harness is a lightweight harness that is used primarily just for spotting purposes and not for body weight unloading. So we're going to just place it on the patient like you would a vest of any type and we're going to go ahead and wrap the front buckle around here. We want to make sure it's low enough that it catches just the top of the iliac crest here on the lower waist area. So we're going to go ahead and bring that around and clip our buckle in here and tighten. You'll see these blue pieces of looping or webbing that are hanging down here. We want to bring those farther around if we can. So what we do is go ahead and turn around here. So we're going to loosen up. It has two adjustments, so there's a back adjustment here. So if I just pull on this orange webbing, this loosens the barrel adjuster. This buckle does not come apart here. Just to lengthen that out, so we want these two side pads, go ahead and turn around, turn sideways, stop right there. We want these side pads to be right on the side like that, equal distance. Okay, so go ahead and turn, and we're going to take up some of that slack here that we just, just gave on the back here. And so you can see these blue, the blue webbing here is hanging down. We also want to go ahead and take up the slack in our shoulder straps so they stay on the shoulders. We do have a shoulder pad that can be moved, so you can slide that forward if needed to or back. And it also can be removed with some Velcro tabs for um, washing and laundering. So once we have this in good position, we can then apply our optional pelvic support strap. If you have a patient who only needs very light spotting, higher level, they may not need this lower uh, belt. but. It's always a good idea to place this on for safety. So the lower belt is just a simple strap with a rubberized piece in the middle here. This is going to be centered underneath the person's uh, butt. And um, we're going to first of all just take these clips, place them through the blue webbing here, and pull that tag in through so it just hangs there. So it's easy so it doesn't fall down. And then we're going to place the other one here through the blue webbing. And many times I would just leave it hanging in this position when we remove and place the harness on um, in the future. So I want to take up the slack in this and I want to make sure that it's even. So there's a couple of D-rings here that help me kind of know where I am and how even this is coming around the bottom here. So go ahead and just turn around for me briefly and we'll just show where this is coming. So we just want that strap to catch underneath the gluteal fold. Okay, so we can turn back around. These two straps are then going to crisscross, just like this. And then we're going to clip these into the side buckles, which are angled side buckles here on the side, right here. And we're going to take up the slack, turn sideways just a little bit and hold your arm up like that. We want to tighten these very snug. So the way to do that is take your hand and actually feed in some of the webbing as you're pulling and get a really firm tightening. Go ahead and turn this way. Do the same thing on this side. Let me switch sides here. So we're going to feed some webbing in with my hand this way as I pull that tight. So we get a nice grabbing just underneath the bottom. So there's no pressure between the legs, just giving a firm grabbing here. So then at this point, if she were to fall, she's not going to slip through the harness.